What's up, people? I got two ways to tell if you got a blown head gasket. These aren't the only two ways. There's more than two, but uh, these are just the ones I'm going to show you right now. The simplest Over ones. Go to your oil, uh, oil cap. Pull your oil cap off. And look at that. That right there is water mixed with oil. How does that happen? You got water slipping past the rings and going up into the, uh, on the valve train body and getting mixed inside the valves and throwing it up like that onto the cap. That's how you got, uh, that's how you can tell if you got that milky looking substance like that. If you got a blown head gasket, that's definitely a blown head gasket. So we know we got a blown head gasket on this bad boy and that's how you can tell. Another way you can tell is by, if you're always losing water and it's never dripping on the floor, it's being burned. It's getting burned inside the cylinders. Uh, during the combustion process, it's coming out the tailpipe. But in this situation, uh, some situations, you'll get, a, uh, you get a lot of smoke from here. And what you get is you get a lot of uh, white smoke coming out like a mist. Well, more than a mist, it's just a white cloudy smoke coming out of here. But other than that, this is one of the fastest ways to tell. And this is a seriously blown head gasket because it's, uh, it's been going off for a while. It still runs. The car will still run during a, during a blown head gasket, depending on the major, uh, how major the situation is or how bad the uh, head gasket's blown or the head's cracked or whatever. So anyways, that's how you tell if you got a blown head gasket and it's that simple.